Hello and welcome back you lovely bunch to another slice of gaming news. So there is a lot this week, um, mainly from last week really and my, uh, my weekend. Um, uh, went to go and see Detective Pikachu which was brilliant, which I'll go through in another video. But um, today's video is about um, the PlayStation State of Play that we had last Thursday, which is all very exciting. Stayed up to watch that live. So yeah, just my um, review, my views i suppose i should say on how it went and just some highlights as well of you know the games that i really really enjoyed from that so as per usual guys and girls if you do like this video then obviously click that like button if you haven't already subscribed then please feel free to do so and also please leave me a comment i love your comments guys keep them coming they're amazing so let's jump into it um, so as I said, with the um, PlayStation State of Play, obviously that was last Thursday, which was the 9th of May, I think. Um, so yeah, all very exciting. We know that Sony obviously are not going to be at this year's E3, which I know is a big disappointment for a lot of people, but you've got to remember they've got a lot to work on. You know, they've, they've got the big one next year, we're hoping. So, you know, that's got to be their main concern at the moment. But I must say, I was impressed with the State of Play. I really was. It makes me laugh that they're doing this and Nintendo have their directs and you know They've kind of followed suit with that, but you know, they're doing a good job of it. I like it. So First up for me was Medieval, um, which is a game I loved back on the PlayStation back in the day when I when I had one. Uh, it was one of the first games I played on PlayStation actually, Medieval, which was a bit of an odd one. But yeah, a great little game and it's been a long time coming to see more from this. So I really, really enjoyed seeing it. It looks really pretty. I think they've done a fantastic job sort of remastering the whole thing and, and making it really, really polished. Um, and a great little game, you know, it really, really is. If you want, you know, a little bit of action with a lot of comedy, yeah, it's a little bit kiddie, but you know, it's fun, it's fun. Um, and I can't wait for that one. Certainly gonna be picking up Medieval when it comes out. It looks, uh, yeah, it looked fantastic. Um, the other one which was really interesting was Predator, um, which is coming out, it's 2020, so we've got a bit of a wait on it. But from what it showed in the trailer, it very much seemed like you are on your own in the jungle. We're not talking concrete jungle, we are talking jungle as in Predator 1, and you are being hunted by the Predator. Now we're assuming that it's yourself and other online players as well that are being hunted by the Predator or Predators. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming very much online play. Um, uh, which I think is a, is a great idea, you know, you're in this jungle, this unknown territory, you know, and, and you're there against an unknown monster, you don't know what it is and you've got to battle, you know, with your wits and your strength to kind of defeat it. I think it's a, um, it's a real nice idea or a real nice twist on what I'm assuming will be, you know, the, the FPS genre. Um, I really like that, just having that one enemy hunting you down, constantly kind of outwitting you. So I'm really, really excited to see what more we're going to see from that. It's certainly sparked my attention when I saw it. Didn't expect something like that. So yeah, really, really happy about that one. So I'm sure we'll learn more as the, as the months go on and I'm sure we'll learn more towards the end of the year about Predator, but certainly want to keep your eye on that. Um, moving on from that um, was, um, was uh, Away, which was a cute little game. Oh my goodness, that should, well, I know it won't probably be, but that should be on the Switch. That's all I was thinking. An awesome little game. And by the looks of it, you play as a character or characters or different animals that you can be. Um, one was like a flying squirrel we saw a lot of in the video. Um, but yeah, you're basically trying to survive in the wilderness just as a normal animal. There's no kind of underlying message. It doesn't seem like there's any monsters, as it were. You are just... It's, it, it, it's just life, I guess. It's life as an animal. I'm assuming by the title Away, you are trying to get away or, <laughs> or home or something like that. Um, but it looked great. I mean, my God, it looked fantastic. So, so good. So realistic as well. Um, a beautiful little game um, and certainly one that I'm going to be sort of closely following and, and be picking up when that comes out as well really really good game um, I just love the simplicity of it you know like I say there's no monsters there's no evil there's just just nature and it's gonna eat you and it's gonna get you and you gotta you know use your little animal wits to get away from it love that love that it's a really cool little idea um, so we are moving on to the next one now we're getting on to sign of the bigger ones now one I was a bit like meh about was the the days of play limited edition ps4 which 
It looks great, you know, I, I think it's, it's cool. Don't know why they haven't done it before, if I'm honest. I like that whole thing with the, um, the shapes, you know, with the square, circle, X and triangle. I think that's really, really cool to have that, like on the side of the PlayStation. So, I don't know, it just seems a lot at the moment, you know, Xbox are obviously pumping out their SADs and their Xbox Ones and their Xbox One S and, you know, and now PlayStation, they've got PlayStation 4, the PlayStation Pro, and now they've got this one. And I don't know whether it's all leading up to obviously next year, they're trying to get out as much hardware as they possibly can. I don't know if it offers any new features. I really don't think it does, if I'm honest. Um, it's just an, a nice little thing if you're a collector and, and I think it looks great. I doubt I'll pick one up if I'm being completely honest, but a nice thing if you don't have a PS4, I would I'd go for that one now. I'd probably be picking up that one if I'm honest, just because of the look of it and the style of it. I think it's very, very nice. Um, pleasing to the eyes, shall we say. Um, but yeah, it was cool. As I say, if you haven't picked a PS4 up and you're looking for one, then maybe go for that now, but at least you've got the options there now. <laughs> so, um, and the last couple of ones, obviously leading on to the big ones. Now, uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII, you know, it, it's there now, you know. It's been all over the internet. A lot of people have already got their state of play videos out there, I know. You know, mine's a little bit delayed here, but it does look great. Once again, they, They've done a fantastic job remastering that. It looks so polished and shiny. My boy, my boy Cloud, looking fantastic. I've got to say, he looks so, so good. You know, the gameplay is what it is. You know, we know Final Fantasy VII. If you don't know Final Fantasy VII, then my God, go out and play it. it <laughs> it's so good. Go and play a lot of them before this comes out. You have to. Um, but yeah, no, it, it looks absolutely beautiful, you know, and I'm, I'm so glad that we had that as well. It's kind of expected. I was going to do kind of a rumour thing before State of Play to, you know, sort of say what I thought was going to be shown and that was certainly going to be one of them. You know, it, it was about time. It really, really was, but looks wonderful. Um, you know, and once again, I, I can't wait to find out a little bit more about that. I really, really can't. And get to grips with it it'll be awesome now for me my my number one highlight of the whole thing which might seem a bit unusual to some people because there was you know a lot going on but it was actually monster hunter world now this is the iceborne expansion i i love that you know that the whole monster hunter world is now you know it's growing massively um and i love that i love, I love the monster hunters a lot but I, yeah, I love that. It was kind of, for me, it was kind of a cross between like, um, oh God, what was it called? I think it was Lost, was it Lost Planet? Um, back on the Xbox 360. It's kind of a cross between that and, I'm gonna say Xenoblade. That's kind of what it reminded me of, if I'm being honest. I really, really liked it. I think the detail and the, the level design that they've done with this expansion, and it looks like there's gonna be a lot of content in here as well. So fascinating stuff i just, just I say just the beauty of it kind of kind of did it for me um you know I, uh, I, the gameplay of course has to be there in the long run but the the actual look of the game looked absolutely wonderful um so yeah that that for me was number one that was my number one highlight and i think that pretty sure if memory serves me correctly that was the first game that they showed so i had to rewatch it because i was a bit like blown away by that initially but yeah awesome awesome little game there were other games, but those, as I say, those are just my highlights of what I really, really enjoyed um, through the through the whole show. Um, it's only 15 minutes long, so you know it's a short one, but I think they got they packed enough in there for me. It was a successful state of play. It was really, really good. And leading up to E3, you know, hopefully that's kept um, PlayStation fans happy. You know, they're not going to be there at the event, but you know, they you, you we know they're working on bigger, brighter things. So you know, give it to them. And I think it was a great little event. So well done, Sony. <laughs> well done on that one. Um, so I'm going to leave it there guys, as I say I've got quite a few videos coming out this week. Usually I would do a video on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday, but there's probably going to be another one as well. Um, just due to the fact there's so much, I've got a q and I've got, I want to talk about Detective Pikachu, there's other news as well. So there's going to be quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. Obviously I forgot to say, but do ding that notification bell if you haven't already done so, so you can keep up to date with all of this news coming at ya. Um, and yeah, thank you so much once again, guys and girls, as always, um, for dropping by, coming to check out my video. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, please leave comments. I love your comments. Let me know what you thought about State of Play. Did you enjoy it? Could there have been more? What game did you want to see at State of Play that you did not see? Please let me know. Um, whatever you are doing today, guys and girls, have a wonderful time. Have a fantastic week. Love to you all. Bye bye now.